fuck cause I don't ride in a huge ass truck. Welcome everybody to the hot, 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 hottest show on the entire internet. It's Talking Mayhem Mania. Patreon in the bank has concluded. It consumed the entirety of the Wrestling Mayhem Show. Episode 904. Rest in peace. So if you want to know what happened, you can go back and you can check that out. But I feel so terrible much. that we didn't have a chance to talk about any wrestling. So we're here with the gang. I don't know who all is still here. Bo Diggity is here. I heard his voice. The Tupac family is still here. Tina's here. DP is here. I see Tony Kincaid. I see Bobby of Jayton. I'm sure the Riz is floating around here. I'm here. Mm -hmm. We were just about to start talking about how amazing Drew McIntyre is. I want to be just like Drew McIntyre when I grow up. He's just so amazing. He's so fun. Also, my beard looks like CM Punk's now. That's a real shame. How do you feel about your beard? I don't know about mine. Yeah. I gave mine a little trim before I came on tonight. Because it wouldn't seem too scruffy. Hello, we're, we're doing some uh, couple year old clips for, uh, of of uh, like fishing without bait the last couple of days on social media, and I'm realizing how gray it's gotten in like just the last couple of years. Mm, oh yeah, that happens. It really comes storming in there. Uh, mm -hmm. I got I got to tell you, like sometimes I like pluck um, like I'll have these like crazy long hairs that come out of my eyebrow. Has this ever happened mm -hmm. to you? And so yep. since I have a wife, like she has tweezers around, so I'm like I just like I'll pluck. You know, no problem. No problem. Well, I'm like, I, I tweeze, you know, hair out of my eyebrow. I don't know why we're talking about this on this show, but who cares? It's like the third episode of the Stone Cold Podcast where we started talking about Manny Petties. Well, we're not there yet. But no. anyway, the end of the story is that. tell you about that... my cat poncho. <laughs> <laughs> I, um, so I, I, I plucked an, a stray hair out of my mm -hmm. eyebrow and I was like, awesome. And I was like, you know what? There's a. You know, my, my mustache is quite unruly um, and masculine. And um, I was thinking I, I there was like a stray hair like coming out of my nose. I'm like, I should get that, too. So I plucked a hair out of my nose. Sorg, Jesus F Christ, it hurts so bad. Yeah, I trimmer. ran into yeah, the yeah, room. Nose trimmer. I would. I was like, oh, my God, honey. <laughs> You're like, she's like, what happened? I'm like, I plucked it the nose hair she's like why'd you do that you idiot that's what happened anyway wrestling <laughs> who wants to talk about wrestling none of us got to talk about wrestling tonight because all we did was talk about patreon in the bank and may mayhem mania nonsense now is your chance to talk about wrestling the rocks entrance is amazing him and cody fought in the rain that was awesome yeah yeah well let me ask you it is uh, the fact that becky's getting a muted response it seems like is it just because she's going against Rhea and anyone going against Rhea would just be screwed mm -hmm. because yeah. I mean Becky's trying everything and it's I don't think it's on her her delivery is great her material is wonderful the right hook or right cross I guess it would be to Dom was wonderful I mean yeah she did deliver quite the right cross to Dom I also or don't Go ahead. I, sorry. I was going to say, or as I think, what did Pat call him? Dom the douche? Mm hmm. <laughs> douche Dom. I actually don't think it was that uh, muted. Uh, it was not sh as strong as Rhea's reaction, but Rhea's yeah. farming simps. What are we supposed to do here? <laughs> like, well, yeah, I mean, that, that's, and I, I and I'm just concerned that Becky's maybe not feeling, and I, of course, hard to get in people's heads against anyone else. She'd be having these massive responses that would dwarf anyone else, but against <laughs> Rhea, literally against Rhea, especially this year. I mean, okay, and, and to be fair, at least from, uh, I think, was it two day, two nights ago, um, we're coming off of another Rhea viral moment on the internet, too. So mm -hmm. there's that mm -hmm. as well. Mm -hmm. Multiple mm -hmm. viral moments, actually. But, buddy, yeah, buddy, well, buddy helped with that one. Yeah. Buddy helped with that one strongly. What did he say? It was like, that's me every, every like, once a every week or week. something. Once yeah, week. every week. Yeah. yeah. Every Friday or something like that. Mm hmm. Uh -huh. So I but, mean, but, like, but 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 also like um, Shayna's response in the next night, the next mm -hmm. night live event. Mm -hmm. uh, explain no, explain a response for those that didn't see it. 
Like, what, uh, what is basically, happening? Paint a it picture. was a three. It, it, yeah, it three. It's a three. It was a three way match: Shayna, Nia, and Rhea. Mm-hmm. And apparently, Nia got knocked out for a little bit, mm-hmm. and um, uh, Shayna just basically went into the corner and sat down and was kind of begging to be stink faced by Rhea. Uh, Rhea hiked it up, <coughs> was getting ready. Nia knocked her out, but. Shayna had kind of her eyes covered and Nia went over and went like, but you can't see me. And then Nia stank faced uh, Shayna. Um, Shayna got up. She was all excited. She saw who stank faced her and she started to heave. <laughs> wow. And it was wonderful. Like cinema. It was. Uh, yeah. I, I mean, it's, it's like, it's live show, but it's house show special. I, I think I think I've been very vocal on my thoughts on some of the uh, the stuff that goes on in house shows being utterly ridiculous, and sometimes it's good ridiculous, sometimes it's bad ridiculous. It, it went viral, I, you know, credit where it's due. And mm-hmm. McAfee, you know, had to make it a point to reference it six or seven times. I I I'll be honest, I'm not I'm hit or miss with Pat right now. Um, he's hitting a lot of good points. Like when he yelled, like, that's your boss too, Cole, shut up. Like, that was great. I, I, I mean, he stole it from me, but it was great. Um, and so he has those moments and then he has these moments where he will like, just the, the joke didn't land. So he tries to make it land again and it's taking slight bits and pieces away. That all being said, like, was last night not the perfect wrestling show in terms of mm-hmm. advancing yeah. every single mm-hmm. segment to the next logical point? Yeah. Like, everything got moved. Seems so, like everybody uh, really liked it last night. Huh? I didn't yeah. get to see all of it, but I made a point to go back this morning and make sure I caught the, um, the Punk McIntyre Rollins mm. segment, which was... I mean, I, I've I've said before, like just McIntyre is so in the zone; it's unbelievable. Like he's just, I he hit he hits nothing but homers right now. And you know, Punk mm-hmm. was great too. Punk was DC great. It, it's it's so yeah. awesome when when it, it, it's so awesome to see someone kind of like surprise you and kind of like match up with with Punk in that kind of a way. You know, like not many people can hang with Punk in that kind of a promo battle, but like for McIntyre to do, it was kind of like amazing. Like that is very unexpected. Um, I don't think many people would have predicted that, you know, a few years ago, uh, but McIntyre has elevated himself so high that mm-hmm. he can do that. Now he like, he is just, he's got all the tools. He's amazing, you know, and he, he's in the zone. He's feeling it. You know, it's great. He's loving every minute of building up this feud with punk. And he knows he's got like six months to do it. <laughs> it's just amazing. <laughs> I got all the time in the world and, and it's, it's going to beat like Rollins being, too. It's great. And, and it's not like they're being fed lines to say like I, I with the old regime, um, there was that, Oh, this is not a, a thing that McIntyre would say. This is, this is totally Vince's doing, mm-hmm. but this was, this sounded like well, pretty good improv between all three of them. Like it, it was, it was the yes and of, of the night. Yeah, and they worked off of each other over and over again to build off a feud, where Punk is building on a feud with both, with both Seth Rollins who hates him, and Andrew McIntyre who hates him, and it's like everybody in that place hates each other. Yeah, and it was just electric. I love three-way feuds where there's no chance that the three people are going to get along ever. And I also did, uh, you're right, like the, the little asides there, like if it was scripted, it was performed incredibly well. Mm-hmm. It's just, in, in either, in, no matter how you want to <laughs> slice it, I mean, just beautiful outcome. And uh, I did, I did the, love the line about don't shoot up my, yeah, don't you pervert. Oh. It's amazing. I like the line about the you don't do drugs, you don't do, or you don't drink alcohol, but you're always in rehab. <laughs> I know. It's like really. Oh good. my god! And then they like, like, and and then like, um, and then Punk like daring McIntyre to name drop Vince. Then, yeah, like, then, yeah, I don't yeah know that was. Where I'm like, this is, 
that's when you're like, this is getting saucy. Like, the, is this the part of the plan or is Phil just winging it out there? You know, like sometimes I, I, I don't think in that case, no, I think in that case, I heard some report it was um, just him winging it. Wow. Even if it wasn't a report, like, like it's, I don't think anyone's going to be writing a promo for, for CM no. Punk no. in the WWE ever well, again. I, well, and like, also, I don't see them mentioning Vince on air or even hinting yeah. to Vince on air. It was just, well, it, well, was, it was such a crazy, it was, it was them acknowledging, like, without saying the name, it, it was the company basically acknowledging, like, look, we are done with this dude. Like, it is over. They were, they were talking about Voldemort. Right? Yeah. Like, we yeah, are not but, even going to drop his name. But, but, but we're not, I got to stress this. <laughs> yeah. and, like, I can't. I can't point this out. It's only for us yes. that know he was referencing Vince. To the layman fan, that was nearly a decade ago, a little bit more maybe. It was a long time ago that he was the chosen one by – but he says he's the chosen one. Who chose you? Name yeah. them. I it think, can be inferred that no one named him. I, I Only – wrestling fans who remember that far back and then the primary demographic does not remember that so it's a throwaway line it doesn't actually matter we know it referenced vince and it's a little tongue-in-cheek who gives a shit Mm -hmm. yeah (laughs) vince is no longer there and the sooner we stop making those references on television by the way the better we're going to be as a as a Mm -hmm. business we really have to stop doing it the reporter should still be asking the questions at these press conferences, the reporters should still be asking these questions as the litigation is going on. But while the TV show is being created, we have to stop doing this shit. Well, you need yes. to send that memo to Phil then to make sure he knows those things. I'm not going to tell CM Punk what to do. I'm just saying <laughs> in general, like I'm, t- I it, it's just don't for worry. Me it's not like he I'm, would take your advice anyways. So it's like you know, hey, he might, get, he might, he might like me. Maybe you, know? you never know we who we'll hit it off with, right? We need get, we need to get Luca Cristofino on the case. <laughs> Luca Cristofino. I just I just I just have legitimate beef. Like I think this is the best time wrestling. I don't think yes. there's been a single bad wrestling show. They've all been the worst wrestling shows have been eh. The bad wrestling shows do not exist right now across any of the companies that have national programs. Um, and we're just it's just it's unnecessary. The it opened with. I can't stress this enough. I, I'm such a you know. You love this. I, you love this entrance. I love this entrance so goddamn <laughs> much. Like it's so good because it's. We're talking about boss. the rock, by the way. Yeah. So 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 for for those who are watching and didn't watch it, check it out on YouTube. But they shot it. He's uh, Cody is having the entire crowd point to the sign. Uh, if you smell hits. Everyone gives themselves whiplash, whipping to the ramp, and it's the smaller <laughs> ramp. It's the smaller Tron. Mm-hmm. So the the he walks through the rock, walks through the shadow into the spotlight. There is fog everywhere because the uh, the arena is smaller, and because they're using the smaller board, he looks like a giant. Mm. Mm-hmm. The lights shoot on him. The lightning's hitting, cracking, and they take the shot from the WrestleMania signs angle into the ring with with Cody's back facing the rock as he walks through the shadow and smoke. Yeah. And I'm like, that's movie shit. <laughs> it's so good. And that's they, movie shit. And it's, there's no words spoken. There's McAfee making noises. I make noises on commentary. I'm not going to fault <laughs> him. There's no speaking <laughs> until the music flips to Hollywood theme. And then they're speaking. But that entire moment, you're like, holy shit. And all I'm thinking is, yeah, he's final boss. Fuck. I want Kenny Omega to, entr- uh, to have an entrance battle with this dude. <laughs> shit. That's never going to happen. I'm angry now. <laughs> They they like they are just they keep dialing in this the, the rocks entrance like every week they add like a little bit more to it and um and then with and then with the running cameras coming in now mm-hmm. where they're running from the top of the ramp down and they're swinging and pivoting and I'm like they simplified the shots and they've that, made them better by simplifying it that one mm-hmm. tracking shot last week where Sammy walked through the curtain. Straight back, they followed him the whole way back, and he was, and it, it, he went past uh, the new day. I think it was that we're talking. That was like that was amazing. 
It was awesome like, truth. Holy it was crap. awesome. Truth. Yeah, it was awesome truth. Awesome truth like, and, and regeneration X. Yeah, it was. I was like, holy <laughs> crap, that was an amazing shot. Yeah, they did the same yeah. thing. It, they they did the opposite kind of this this past week. I forget who it was, where they were in the back and then just followed. Uh, whomever it was out to the crowd and it was just like why but then why? they also they also have stuff going on and sorry Riz. Uh, the, oh yeah you're good they they also have these shots where they're doing these backstage vignettes and in mm-hmm. the background background there's something that's going on that's advancing yeah. To another segment mm-hmm. later on in the night, so you see uh, Awesome Truth talking to D or to DIY, not DX. <laughs> uh, they are DX. <laughs> they are, yeah, yeah. Um, and, and they're talking about the the six pack at at WrestleMania, and they're they're jaw dropping. But you see, Paul Heyman is driving a point home, driving a point home to Drew McIntyre. Which leads into Drew McIntyre jumping into the fight in the main event to separate Cody from everyone else. See you, Tubac family. Uh, uh, another one was uh, Andrade and yes, uh, Dom talking Dom. in the background, and mm-hmm. that is leading into whatever's going to happen at Mania. So, like, mm-hmm. come on, my guy! Like, we are putting a full bore show together that you can't talk about in snippets you have to watch the whole three mm-hmm. hours to see this whole thing progress now this is not but they're also putting all this shit on youtube so you can catch up if you need the bit points but you don't want to have the bit points because every segment is leading into each other so like this i'm is, a nerd for this crap this is fun because i haven't been able to watch wwe monday and fridays for about a month now because of technical issues with my dvr so i've literally <laughs> just been watching the youtube mm-hmm. and while and then while i'm hearing these are the best episodes of both shows mm-hmm. in ages mm-hmm. and, it was, and it's, the, the good thing about it is to um at least with the long segments like for example the seth and punk and mcintyre um segment um i didn't feel drawn i didn't feel dra- it didn't feel dragged out to me because it was 22 minutes long yeah yeah no, it, it didn't. It didn't feel thing. like it overstated. It mm-hmm. just, and I, I just, I, I just wanted more. It was like the like when Seth came out. I was like, ah, oh, Seth's here. I want Punk and Drew to talk some more. This is fun. Um, <laughs> so I have not gotten my fill yet. I mean, I know, ah. like, <laughs> fill uh, faster, so. you rat bastard. I know, like during the after the main event, which which was bananas with. Uh, Uso and Nakamura. I want to see more of that. Uh, but like after that was over and they did all that little like the the back the backstage stuff. I'm looking at the clock. And I'm like, we still got eight minutes left. What are they gonna do for eight minutes? And they <laughs> fucking want me to. They wanted me to watch more. Yeah. <laughs> like I, like when it passed, I was like, that's it. I want more. But, but they, it's, it's still. I mean, it wasn't in a bad way. It was in a that I want more. This I turned on Raw Talk. <laughs> right. Like and and just it's eight minutes of Rock essentially just saying, Look what uh, look, look what you've done. Look what you've done. Like he's mm-hmm. not saying mm-hmm. much, but he's beating Cody to a bloodied pulp. A bloodied pulp. And cutting a promo while he's eviscerating this man. And then the the feedback from that within 10, 20 minutes, you got uh, Dustin Rhodes, you got Brandy Rhodes put on so mm-hmm. on uh, X, you know, you know Dustin saying calling him a son of a bitch. So now everyone's like, is Dustin Rhodes still contracted with uh, with AEW? He is, and is mm-hmm. Brandy going to show up possibly? <laughs> and it was like all this stuff that's going on, and you're like, this now feels like a universe unhinged. Mm-hmm. We're yeah. watching a television show about a wrestling show finally. We mm-hmm. haven't had that in so long. Well, Today, I mean, we, oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead, no, go ahead, well, well, I say, we all talk about Vince being removed from the company and the use change. Kevin Dunn left. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's a big and one. having basically a new director, a new showrunner, to put in terms, uh, someone who's not, oh, go up close, and when you're hitting him, move the camera up and down. As you're following the punches the, from a what was a couple of years ago when Seth, I think Seth was he was waiting for the camera for the thing, and you showed the camera 
you know, looking up and down to, yeah, that's stupid. Don't do that. And all these new shots, like you said, that when Rock came in, the shot from behind the WrestleMania sign and, and these new thoughts and new ideas and filming it in a different way. Mm-hmm. That's a huge change. It's actual star power now. I, you know, it's, it's, it's good to see, you know, kind of like, especially when you're the industry leader and they've been doing it the same way for so long. So to see them kind of finally starting to push forward a little bit, it's a good thing for everyone because the, the, the mm-hmm. industry will follow their lead, you know, rightly or wrongly. And some may feel like that's not a good thing, but um, this has been a, um, I, I mean, I, I don't know what more to say about like WWE is so scorching red hot right now. It's mm-hmm. unbelievable. Um, and AEW is matching. That's the mm-hmm. important part mm-hmm. is yeah. that WWE is scorching and AEW is keeping up. Yeah. So now we have two companies and they're not feeding off of each other's bullshit. They're competing by trying to be better than the other. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 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 You, you don't have so much the, you know, and honestly, there's enough room. We're, we're not going to hit the late 90s again where each show has, you know, millions and millions and millions of viewers. No, this going is something else. Because- that- the, yeah, it, we're the, not going to recreate that. But these, so they, they've, 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 they've been able to accomplish the thing that Vince always wanted. The WWE is the most mainstream it's ever been. Right? Mm-hmm. I love when, when people say, oh, wrestling. Do people still watch that? I was like, yeah, it's kind of the highest rated mm-hmm. thing. And there's like about 80,000 people at WrestleMania every year and internationally. So, yeah, yeah. I think a couple people are watching this thing. It's yeah. like yeah. outside yeah. of like professional sports, pro wrestling is like the biggest thing concerts it's like one of the big <laughs> yeah. like yeah. when you're talking about just in general on television broadcast or cable you know wrestling is 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 among the highest rated shows almost mm-hmm. every single night of the week now mm-hmm. um, and that's just and that's just broadcasting not even the social media or mm-hmm. even streaming yeah, exactly. aspect of it i think what yeah. was it um a couple of weeks ago on youtube wwe hit their red diamond mark yeah red that? diamond yeah they got a nice plaque. Oh, that's right. Yeah. I, I was watching the Pat McAfee show today, and the, like every GM and every coach that came up, Pat was like, see what see what The Rock did to Cody Rhodes last night? <laughs> <laughs> it was great. It was every every single one except for the Bills general manager. I don't know why, but he didn't say anything <laughs> to him. <laughs> for what I, wa- what I watched, it was like Raheem Morris, uh, the coach for the, the uh, Falcons, I think. Uh, the general manager for the Bears. <laughs> it's like, did you see what see what the Rock did to Cody Rhodes last night? Kicked his it ass. was so perfect, <laughs> dude. It rain. It was raining. Like mm-hmm. the, they took, It was already going to be good, and, and and it's raining too. Like you're living right. It's it, you know, good things are just yeah. happening now. The and, vibe and, I got from that soul segment was. This might be dating myself in a little bit, and maybe everybody else can probably remember this too. Um, the The Rock and Stone Cold on the bridge. Yeah, I thought he was mm-hmm. going to throw him off the bridge. Oh, yeah, I, I thought he was going to throw him off. Yeah, yeah, I, I definitely was feeling that no, same was, thing. Uh, but yeah, there, I think there. I think all straight oh, okay. is the one. Was in so it's the one by Midway. So there's like I don't okay. know. Maybe we'll throw him out with the overpass. I. <laughs> I, I stayed across. I was the watching that overpass arena. thing, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the, like the the ramp where the buses come in and out. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> where it, it, I John mean, Cena it, and the, where John Cena and Stone Cold just stared at you on the like the their, their pictures just stared at the entire time, like just oh, hi. The, the, on the truck. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Hey, good chat. Love talking to all of you. Thanks for being part of Mayhem Mania. Thanks for watching. Talking. I- mayhem mania this our 832nd season um so hopefully many more to come right sorg yep. yeah yeah we can't wait for next year it'll be a blast we'll see i'll be well rested by then anyway um thank you very much for um for joining us this year and following along we appreciate all of you um and we appreciate the wonderful card that you all put together you can go on the facebook group we'll post it up there so you can check it out um 
Have a pleasant evening. Stay May Hemi. Truck a pop a wheelie on the street bike. Get his fucking dude is nuts and who we trust the dude who bust and move it up. I've used the stuff to cruise and rush booze and blunts. Fucked up. What do you want? This my life and this my right to take advantage of the drugs I'm giving to escape into a greater state of living. I'm just racing to the finish.